Today is Posley Chic. We are unboxing our Wantable Fashion Edit number two. We have an incredibly eclectic mix of products today, and I cannot wait to show them to you. So if you guys are ready, we are going to get started right now. Hi guys, Cindy is Supposedly Chic and welcome to Wantable Fashion Edit number two for Supposedly Chic. Last month we did Wantable Fashion Edit number one. We had a few hits, a few misses. Uh, primarily there were size issues. Um, other than that, I, I want to say I think we kept like half the box. So here is our second. We're going to break down all of the items for you today. We're going to try them on and then we're going to do a thumbs up, thumbs down, talk about prices and talk about what we're keeping. So guys, let's break into the box. All right, guys, our first item is a jasmine floral blouse by Cut From The Cloth. This is my ideal top for spring and summer. It is gauzy, the color is great, and it has a really nice pattern and a really nice like flow to it. So this one has a lot of possibilities. The second item is the Alina striped dress in Cloud Nine from Beach Lunch Lounge. This is a really nice shift dress in a muted blue and kind of an ivory color. Uh, this is the first dress we got from Wannable, so we'll see how it fits and how it looks. But I do sort of think I like this paired with flats. It could uh, be a work dress and a fun dress. Our next item is the super skinny ankle jeans um, in Concordia Wash. These are pretty basic jeans, guys. Last month we got a really great pair of jeans from um, Articles of Society and I'm not sure I need another pair of jeans so we will see but these are just pretty basic skinny jeans nothing too fancy. Next item is the v-neck shell in black this is Lauren Helena and guys this is a ideally perfect work top for me if it's cold outside I can pair it with a jacket later on in the season I can just wear it the way it is it has a little bit of flow. It is um, like a uh, like a nylon gauze, and it's got a rounded back, a V-neck in the front, and again, lots of possibilities in this month's box for sure. Next item, guys, this is a Heidi knit tank from Gold. I'm sorry, from Gentle Fawn. I don't know. It just looks like a white tank top, guys. Um. We'll see. Maybe the, the, the design on the front, sort of the, the cross pattern, will add some allure to my decotage. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. So far, it is not grabbing me. And the last clothing item, guys, these are pretty phenomenal. They are the Juliet Cargo Skinny in Smoke Camo. They are by Mavi. And I really like this. This is very unique for me. Um, they're not normal jeans. Obviously, wouldn't wear them to work. But there's a world of possibilities. They have zipper pockets in the front. The only thing I'm not really thrilled about is they do have a cargo pocket about halfway down. But uh, ugh, we'll see, guys. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. All right, guys. And our final item is always my favorite, which is jewelry. This is a teal double strand necklace. This is actually by Wannable. Funny, our last month's box, I want to say a half to two thirds of all of our products were Wantable brand. This necklace is the only Wantable brand this time. Um, and guys, I sure like this. I hope you can see it well against the black. We'll do a close up for you. But it is a two strand necklace that's got a, uh, a really cool kind of quartz stone and then beading around the edges. And it's gold. I'm normally a silver girl like you know, but this would add a little bit of a pop to my jewelry collection. So I'm going to probably... Yeah, I'm going to probably throw it on with most of what we're wearing. So give me one minute. I'm going to throw on the first outfit and we will talk. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, guys, so here is outfit number one. We have three pieces. We have the Meritage Super Skinny Ankle Jeans. We have the black V-neck top and we have the double strand necklace. Really cute outfit. Love the jeans, guys. They cut off just a little bit below the ankle. They're very comfortable and form-fitting and they feel very soft. Um, I just am not certain if I need yet another pair of jeans, but if I did need another pair of jeans, these guys would for sure be the ticket. This top, however, just fits awkwardly. Um, it's a little flowy down here at the bottom, but the uh, specifically the under shield, this piece right here, is skin tight. Skin tight is that the right word? 
um, across my chest like like there's it doesn't go in here at all it's just it's totally taut um, and while it doesn't really affect my range of movement it's it's uh it makes it's distracting to me it makes me feel like I don't know like 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 they're the girls are bandaged in or something can't quite explain that but not a big fan of the top I also am not a big fan of the way that it comes up here in the front it does go longer in the back um, but the top is not really working for me this necklace guys I just cannot even begin to tell you all the different outfits I could put this with it's a really nice it lays nice for me it's got a, a mixture of like beading and um, and uh, the, the sort of the quartz pendant so this I believe for sure is a keeper we'll talk about the pricing but guys, give me one second. I'm going to put on outfit number two. I'm going to keep the jeans on, and we'll see what the next top looks like. All right, guys, outfit number two, same jeans, same necklace. This is the Jasmine Floral Top um, from Cut from the Cloth, I think. I hate the fit on this thing. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's, it's bunchy here. It's a little poppy here. It's also really sheer, and because it's really sheer, you would have to wear something underneath it, and then that would make it even tighter. Um, so you can see it, it. The other thing I don't like is that see how the sleeves sort of flop out. I try to button them and then it's too tight to cuff up here on my upper arm. So while I had very high hopes for this top, I don't think there's anything that I would I would be able to do to, to keep it. So but just to let you guys see it, here's what the back looks like. And the front, I do like the collar. It's a shame because I kind of like, you know, these types of laid down collars. But it's just not comfortable for me and I feel like I like it's, it's gaping. So this guy will be going back. We have one more top and then we get to try on our really cool camo pants. So here is our final top. This is the Heidi Knit Tank in white. Um, it's really, guys, honestly, a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt that's a tank that has a little bit of nice um, d design definition here in the front. Um, I'm not a big fan of again how low the arms go. Uh, it is straight though, so it doesn't it doesn't go down any further in the back than it does in the front. And it, guys, it's just it's just eh, it's just there. Hang tight. Let's look at those camo pants next. All right, Sheikter. So here are the camo skinny jeans. You can see they are tight at the ankle. They have flat cargo pockets. They have zipper side or zipper front. Oh. Wow, zipper front pockets plus real pockets. Didn't know that till right now. Um, these guys are way funky cool, and I'm not quite sure where they're going to fit my wardrobe, but I'm pretty confident that I'll find a place for them. The final piece today to look at is the Alina striped dress, and this, I, I like it on a bunch of different levels. Um, I can casual it down. I can dress it up with some heels if I need to. The length is nice for me. It's not too short. It's not too long. Um, it's it's just a, a really standard shift dress, but I like it a lot. It's comfortable. It moves well. It's sort of a muted pattern for me, so it's not um, really a sort of bold and gregarious. And I just find feel that I I just feel that this will find a really great place in my closet. So guys, give me just one second. I'm gonna change back into my clothes, and we're gonna talk about the hits, the misses, and what all this good stuff from Wantable costs. So now is the fun part. Now we get to break everything down, see what we kind of like, see how much it costs, and figure out if we really like it that much. So let's grab our list and we will start from the top. The first item is again the Jasmine Floral Blouse by Cut from the Cloth. Um, was a big fan of the fit. I sure did like the material and the style though. This guy is $68 and it will be going back to Wantable. Next item is the Alina striped dress uh, in Cloud Nine. It is also sixty-eight dollars, and this one is for sure a keeper. Uh, it's a great dress. It's made well, and for sixty-eight dollars, I think that's a really good deal. Next on our list is the super skinny ankle jeans in Concordia wash. Uh, these are by Meritage. I did really, really like the fit, and they were very comfortable. However, guys, they are one hundred and twenty-eight dollars. And as many jeans as I have in my closet, I don't know how to justify $120 for a new pair of jeans, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. Next item is the V shell in black, which again, I didn't like. It was very tight across the chest. Uh, $58 for this guy. It's going back. The Heidi Knit Tank in white. Again, we talked about the fact that this is just a cotton sort of tank with a little bit of nice embellishment on the front. Gang, they want $55 for this guy. 
I don't think I would spend more than 18 at Target. So this one, whether it didn't matter how much I loved it, I'm not paying $55 for it. So it will be going back. Next we have the really cool badass, can I say that on YouTube? Badass camo skinny jeans. These are by Mobby and they are $98. They are unique enough that I think I may be able to justify that, but I wouldn't obviously have five pairs of these in my closet. So uh, we'll see. But I, I think we can make that happen. And guys, the last item is the teal double strand necklace by Wantable. This is $38 and it's made really well. It's very pretty. It's got a bunch of different colors in it, so it will go with a lot of different things in my wardrobe. I actually didn't have it on with the dress, but just look really quick at how it would look with the blue dress. I just think that's a really nice combination right there. So what we are keeping today, guys, is the dress, the camo pants, and the necklace, I believe. That's kind of where we're at. So what are we going to tell our stylist when we send all this stuff back? We're going to tell her, look at our chest measurements, girl, because two of these tops were, were tied across there. Um, I would really have loved probably both the black, I know for sure the black tank and probably the floral, if it just felt like it wasn't so constricting. Um, so we're going to ask to get a little bit better fit items. Um, and quite honestly, keep them coming. This was a really kind of eclectic mix of stuff from a dress to camo to floral. Um, and yeah, I, I, again, totally digging doing this. This is our second Wannable. We're doing this guy monthly now. Got some really awesome comments from our community. Hopefully you saw more close-ups today and that was kind of what you were looking for. Please let me know if that's what you were looking for. Um, if you haven't already, Please click down here and subscribe now. And if you are new to Supposedly Chic, here are a couple of videos that you guys can check out to get started. And guys, until next time, this is Cindy of Supposedly Chic. And make it a good one.